was requested. Um, this is just a setup that uh, was pretty much laying around that we had to try and um, do an example of how to run everything. Um, full disclaimer, uh, this is not connected at this point, so uh, try not to blow yourself up if uh, you're trying to follow this video and uh, wire your stuff up at the same time. Um, watch the full video, map it out on your own, and then uh, do it without the ground connected. Make sure you're being safe. Alright, so basically, here's what we got. On this particular setup, we've got your switch box, which is right there in the center. We've already uh, mapped out and we know what uh, wire goes where, or at least the diagram, which I've mapped that out. You've seen the switch box in a different video. All right, so the short version on your switches, here's a random switch. On your switches in the middle, that's going to be your power. So you know that going into it. So we know that our power is red. We've already mapped it out. Power is red. Your power is going to be your second battery from the ground. So this is your quick disconnect right here. You've got negative to positive, positive to negative, and then positive right here. Your power needs to be going to this uh, post right here. Okay. All right. So <clears throat> in addition to that, this quick disconnect is a little bit different than most of the ones that you'll see but it, it runs on the same premise. You pull it and it's now disconnected. Um, all right, so basically the way that most of your quick disconnects work is they twist off and pull apart. So you've got one, uh, one end going here into your quick disconnect and then the other end of your quick disconnect is actually going to ground to the car somewhere. Bare metal, a good solid ground. If it's not good, the whole system may not work, or you may just get sparks uh, thrown at you everywhere. All right, so after that, <clears throat> you're going to want to uh, wire up your um, solenoids. So your solenoids um, are these right here. You'll notice that these are piggybacked to connect to each one. You want to only connect on this side, which is the S side. So if these solenoids are going to the front pump, what you want to figure out is your front pump. This is the black wire. Your black wire, and especially if this is only a two pump setup, your black wire and your brown wire, which is the right, your black and brown will connect here, and which will automatically jump from each one to each one, okay? Now, what this is for right here is on this side, you've got your power going into it. So let's just say, hypothetically, you've got four batteries, 48 volts. Those four batteries connect, you know, positive, negative, positive, negative. Once you get to the actual positive, it will then run to this side. Once it goes to this side from your battery, well then, when you hit the switch, the power will go through and then it will come to here which will then go to your uh, pump which is uh, on the stem here's one right here and here's the other one right here so it'll go to there that power then spins the motor and causes the fluid to come out all right so that's the wiring for your solenoids now this is only a two pump now if this was a four pump those wires obviously wouldn't be connected going to your solenoids there would be four sets of solenoids but since this is a two pump you're gonna uh, and this is a switch a switch box it's a 10 switch box you're gonna have some of them that are connected together <clears throat> same thing for your back purple and blue they will be here all right so now we talk about dumps <clears throat> the dump wires are pretty simple as well so we know that um, your dump wires are orange and yellow left and right all right so here's an orange one so let's say that um, all right so let's say that this orange wire needs to be connected to one of your dumps and you figured out like let's say for instance this is your back pump this is going to your back 
uh, driver side. This is going to your back uh, passenger side. So if this is going to your back um, driver side, you've got two wires coming out of it. Now these are wrapped up, but just hear me out. <clears throat> you've got your orange wire that is already labeled that is going to your back left. So you'll connect your orange wire to one of these wires. The other wire is supposed to be grounded. Now you can either find a ground or ground it somewhere close by or you can slide the, uh, the uh, dump off there and just twist it around. Here's an example. You can just slide it off right here, slide it off, wrap, um, shave off the wire a pretty good amount and then wrap it around right in here and then slide it back on real tight so it's got a good ground. It kind of saves on wiring a little bit as far as, uh, and it's a little cleaner too. Works just fine. I've never had any issues. I do hear that some people really are, uh, you know, serious about grounding their dumps, but I've never had an issue. So, so basically that's how the dumps work. You, now, hypothetically, if you were to accidentally wire one of your dumps backwards or something like that, uh, it's okay. Um, if you want, you can just take this one off, take this one off and swap them. Uh, or you can just, you know, clip the wire and redo it. Now, whether it's one or the other, it doesn't matter which one you ground and it doesn't matter which one you connect to the switch box. They both work the same way. So now that you've got that part of it done, I believe that is all the wiring to it. Uh, switch box, once it's all wired in and hooked up, and as far as your quick disconnect, as, as long as it's ready to go, you've connected it to the car, uh, really good ground, you got all your wires, uh, or excuse me, all your battery cables connected correctly um, on your solenoids, making sure that they are, um, you know, mounted very tight, as well as, uh, you know, we haven't finished this one, but all of these are fully tight down and it's too bare metal to get the best connection. The same thing for your pumps where your pump block meets. Make sure that uh, that's bare metal so it's getting great contact. Um, hopefully that is all the wiring to this. I don't think there's anything else. Whether you're running a two pump, three, four, doesn't matter. It's all the same principles. Um, if that kind of, I believe that is all of the wiring on here. So uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like, share. Uh, the more likes, the more shares, the more videos that come out. So make sure that you like and share, and I will be posting more and more videos. Thanks.